Hi, welcome back. This is Justin McCray. And Jake Eisenberg. And welcome to Wayne's World. Wyland's <laughs> World, I mean. Go ahead. Reporting for Saving Our Seas Together. We are here today at the Wyland headquarters to introduce to you the man himself, Wyland. Hi, Wyland. How are you? I am very good, fellas. How are you? I just uh, finished painting the largest earth portrait history on the uh, entire roof of the Long Beach Sports Arena. Is that cool or what? Yes. Yeah? It's no big Harry. thing. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in Detroit by mistake, far away from the ocean. But I live in Laguna Beach now. How old were you when you moved to California? I was 19 when I moved to California. Same age as you guys. Interesting. Right. What city did you move to? Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach, which is a well-known art colony. How old were you when you knew you wanted to be an artist? I was three or four, and I was painting dinosaurs and Jurassic scenes. I knew I wanted to be an artist, and uh, anyway, I just started painting then, and nobody told me to stop. So you guys aren't here to tell me to stop painting, are you? Because I'm going to keep going. Did you ever want to be something besides an artist? Nope. The art gig is good. See, scientists, they have to follow rules. Artists, not so much. Better to be an artist. Although it's okay if you want to be a scientist, if you want to be a writer, art director, whatever you want to be in life, do it. That's the story, uh, you know, that that I had to learn is that if you do what you love to do, you've reached the pinnacle of success in life. So what do you guys want to do? Let me interview you guys. What do you guys want to do in life? You want to be an artist. What do you want to do, kid? An artist seems really good. Three artists together, the three amigos, right here in, uh, in where are we, Aliso Viejo at the Wyland World Headquarters. Anyway, that's a good lesson in life for all of you watching that if you want to do something, do it and follow your dreams and don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. But you have to do good in school. You have to listen to your parents most of the time, all the time, and listen to your teachers. And you have to be a nice person, right, guys? It helps to be a nice person. So have integrity and work really hard. You can be anything you want to be in life, even president. So My job's you, better. So what gave you the idea of getting 100 wall meals? The idea to do 100 walls. Well, actually, there was a writer for the LA Times, and he asked me, he was interviewing me like you two goobers. I mean, two guys, two young, outstanding artists. <laughs> and he said, uh, his name was Gordon Grant from the LA Times. He said, how many of these walls are you going to paint? And I just said 100. So I always do what I say. If I say I'm going to do 100 walls, that's what I do. And it took me 27 years, but I did it. I painted 100 walls, the last one in Beijing for the Green Olympics. Is that cool or what? All right, see, we're all wearing the same hat, too. <laughs> what was the message you were trying to get across with your wall? The message is uh, simply if people see the beauty in nature, they'll work to preserve it. And by showing the beautiful whales and the habitats, the oceans, uh, people were going to be inspired to, uh, to not only be aware of oceans, but, but conservation issues and, and whales in particular. So. Art, art can play an important role in conservation. That was the message. So when and where did you paint your first wall mural? First one was in Laguna Beach, and uh, that was back in 1981. And that one took 30 days. And uh, when you work for free, you got to work fast. I'm actually faster now. I heard a funny story about that mural. Could you share with? Can you share with our viewers? Is that where we spilt the paint? Yes. <laughs> okay, so we got all the paint in the back of my brother Tom's truck. He doesn't have a tailgate on the truck. And when we uh, finished having lunch at a little hamburger place, and he pulled onto the Coast Highway too fast, all the paint flew out the back of the truck. And uh, thousands of gallons of blue paint all over the highway and cars driving through it, splashing everywhere. We call that one Blue Laguna. That was actually Wailing Wall Zero. <laughs> Which is your favorite out of the hundred mural? The favorite one, they're like my kids, so they're all my favorite. I like all 100. They're like having 100 kids. So when did you start your foundation? Foundation was started um, 16 years ago, Wyland Foundation, to inspire 
people to be involved in, in conservation issues through art and science. And um, it's been a good journey. We're doing a lot of great things with the Wyland Foundation. So if you're watching this, go to wylandfoundation.org. I could put a commercial in there, right? Okay, and you can join for free. So join the Wyland Foundation for free. What do you like to do in your spare time for fun? I like to go diving and ride motorcycles and um, probably chase women around. No, just kidding. Cut that part out. I'm just kidding. It's okay to like women. In your case, girls. It's okay to like everybody. What the heck? Is that going to get in the film? That's pretty good. That's honesty, right? Honesty's good. You guys, you know. I'm not married. You see a ring here? All right. I noticed you start to paint animals besides ocean mammals. Why is this? Wait, ask that a question. I'm still thinking about girls. Go ahead, ask that a question. Yeah. Okay. What? I noticed you start distracted. to paint animals besides ocean mammals. Why oh, is this? Oh, this is a good question. Why do I paint uh, other animals? Well, I've expanded from oceans to other uh, habitats, freshwater habitats, and other mm -hmm. uh, endangered animals that, that I like. So, you know, you don't have to be one-dimensional. When you're an artist, you have to kind of try a lot of different things, you know, and it keeps it fresh. Were you ever scared of scuba diving with sharks? No, because sharks are not dangerous. The most dangerous predator is us, <laughs> humans. So we are dangerous, and do you think about why that humans are the most dangerous predators? Not the sharks. Sharks are actually quite nice. They're my friends. So what is your favorite whale? Favorite whale probably is the humpback whale because they sing really beautiful songs. What is your favorite place to visit? Well, I my favorite place to visit is, is uh, underwater. So There's you, a lot of beautiful places, yeah. So you like seafood since you love the sea so much? I do um, eat a lot of seafood. You know, fish eat fish, so I'm okay with that. But as long as you don't eat the fish that are threatened. So you want to eat sustainable uh, seafood. So don't eat fish that are overfished. And you can uh, basically go to any aquarium and uh, find out which fish are the right ones to order in a restaurant or in the supermarket. So that's making smart choices for sustainable seafood. What else, fellas? What is your favorite dessert? Favorite dessert, ice cream. Do you have any pets? I have a pet turtle. Junior, if you're watching, go to sleep. It's past your bedtime. They named the turtle after me, so I call him Junior. What are some things that you can tell our viewers that they can do to help save our seas? Well, what I would do is educate yourself. There's three things you should do. You educate yourself on the issues, whether it's ocean pollution, shark finning, um, all the terrible things we're doing. Educate yourself, share your knowledge with your friends. We're friends, right? And then take action. So if you do those three things, you can make a difference in the world, and you should. Thank you so much for letting us interview you. You're welcome. Thanks for visiting my crib. You're cute. Now get out of here. <laughs> See you next time. Good job, fellas. Nice interview. You guys got a big future. And that's it for now. This is Justin McRae. And Jake Eisenberg. And we're me. We're saving our seas together. <laughs> See you next time.